The Sahara Desert is the world's largest hot desert. It covers an area slightly over 9 million square kilometers. If it were a country, it would be the fifth largest in the world, ahead of Brazil and slightly smaller than China. The Sahara is also one of the sunniest places on Earth and gets an average of 3,600 hours of sunshine every year. This gives it a massive potential for solar energy production. In fact, in recent years, scientists have been examining the possibilities of harnessing this energy and using it to meet the increase in local energy demand and eventually power Europe. In 2009, a German company called Desertec announced an ambitious project which would turn the idea into reality. The company proposal was an ambitious plan to meet regional demand and provide 15% of Europe's electricity needs by 2050 through a network of wind and solar plants in North Africa and the Middle East. However, the project failed to materialize when most investors pulled out citing significant political risk in North African countries and that the $500 billion project was too expensive to be practical. Locally, the project was criticized by some who called it the new form of resource exploitation. The critics were skeptical, stating that the benefits of the project to North Africa was being overstated. The idea of exporting solar energy from Africa to Europe is not dead. The European Union has a target to reduce its net emissions by 55% by 2030 and eliminate them altogether by 2050. To help meet the goal, the EU set an ambitious target to raise the share of renewable energy to 40% of the final consumption by 2030. There is another company on a mission to capitalize on the transition to renewables. Tuna is a joint venture between UK-based company New Energy and investors from Tunisia and Malta. The company has launched multiple solar projects in Tunisia as the country is committed to increasing its renewable energy to 30% of its energy mix. However, its biggest project is the Tuna Italy transmission line. The massive project was announced in 2017 and it's keen to ensure that the solar power export vision stays alive. The completed project will consist of a 2,250 megawatts concentrated solar power plant in southern Tunisia, which will become the biggest solar plant in the world. Heliostats will be used to track the sun throughout the day and direct the solar rays to a receiver containing molten salt. The heated molten salt will provide a highly efficient thermal storage which can be used as needed to create steam and generate power. From the power plant, overhead lines spanning over 660 kilometers will be used to transmit the electricity to the coast and then connected to a HVDC submarine cable which will run for 661 kilometers to the shoreline near Montalto di Castro in Italy. The power would then be transmitted to other countries using the already connected European power grid. So, why not just build solar plants in Europe? The company collected data over three years concluded that Tunisia has up to 20% better radiation than some of the best sites in Europe. The Sahara Desert also provides significant land to develop large-scale solar power projects. In Tunisia, the project will contribute to industrial development, improve energy security and will establish expertise in CSP technology in the region. The company is currently undergoing regulatory procedures. Construction is planned to begin in 2025 and full operations to start by 2028. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.